Welcome back to part nine of my Ramesses Let's Play, Total War Pharaoh. So, picking things up, we left them last time. Still got those Hetchian raiders harassing our supply and resources. I was thinking I was going to push them away, but actually that's right at the edge of my movement. I imagine they're going to run away uh, rather than face our force. only 16 of them. Uh, they're not at full strength either, whereas we've got an elite force now finally fully replenished. So, what I'm going to do instead is go into ambush stance. Just, I don't quite trust the 25%, so I'm going to go to the 29. No rest. Go into ambush, Surprise and then I will hunt me. them down next turn. It does mean we take another turn of being raided. Uh, well, they say they're taking food, stone, wood, and gold. Okay, so it'll be good to get rid of that. We'll also be able to bring Ramesses in. I kind of feel like it's, it's it'll be nice to bring Ramesses in to lead the strike back against this army after this time. Claim his, uh, his revenge for falling at the siege of Hetch. Uh, so, yeah, I got them set up there. Then we'll push on through uh, to their stone settlement here, which says it's got seven garrison, but actually it's 12 here because of the outpost. Okay, yeah. There's another reason why I wanted to go into ambush. I didn't want to attack them, uh, then retreat, and potentially then fall back to their settlement because then they'll have even more troops there, and it'll be, you know, a fairly uh, tough slog for us going there. And we've only just replenished this force, so I don't really want it to take uh, heavy losses again if I can avoid it. Demotep, we are going to declare war here. Here we go. Sorry, not sorry, permanent. Straight on in. Ooh, okay. Uh, because they're getting the outpost garrison in. Damn. Yeah, gotta remember those outposts coming in. We should be able to cut them off though as they make their way to the settlement. Though, right? They don't. They don't start straight on the map. I don't think they do. So we've got our elite troops. I do want to see these armored uh, Syrian archers in action again. I know we we saw them briefly. Last episode. Can we go with this battle? Let's do it. Unleash the fury of Timotep. As always, thanks for your comments, advice, tactics, and suggestions. They're all greatly appreciated. Do keep them coming, as well as those unique name suggestions over on part one of this series. Uh, I think we've made it through this fairly, fairly well, fairly clearly, actually, in the that we can sort out, we've sorted out our resources now. And uh, we can now pop in some names for Tim Timotep's army. So, uh, possibly next episode, part ten, our hour special. Come out, Are they coming in? Are they coming in behind? Amazing. Okay, we'll destroy them first, then march on these guys. They're probably going to sally out to meet us. That's what we've seen happen in the past. Yeah, we'll try and add in some names for Timotep's army either next episode, part ten, or the following one. All right, chariots. I think it is sometimes when you. It seems like the, the gods, reinforcements. Sound. If you if they see that you form up right around where they're going to come on in, they they shuffle around a little bit. So we'll gods. see. Um, see what we can do. I want the want the archers up here if we can. And then I'm just going to have the spears facing the Fear settlement. Nothing. Then lock any of them in place that want to charge on out. No one can stop us. Oh yeah, I gave him the. Uh, him the trident, didn't I? I mean, that's a spear, not a, not a trident. Where's my prongs? What have you got? You've got the heroic advance. Melee defense plus five. Unit will start advancing towards target there. location, pushing back. That's, I mean, that's pretty cool. So actually, group human with the spears then. But do you guys have shields or are you just... Oh, you do as well. Yeah, okay. Nice. Right, 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 right. Oh, we've got the we've got the militia, haven't we? Why don't they face us right? Yeah, they are. Fear nothing. Not just already going for it. Go. Fastest in Caden. Chariots with me. Shall not shuffle these chariots down here. Charge straight on in. Beautiful, huge damage. In you go, chariots. I just want to maneuver these guys right round behind them. Uh, 
like not getting the speed up down here in you go that's the one these guys were like falling back over here you guys strike in here because there's a big cluster into all of our troops nice one chariots in they go slamming on in And pull them back. Rinse and repeat. You guys keep fighting here. Well, those guys, oh, they're broken through. Bring some spears across because the garrison's not coming out. I mean, these guys are fairly well armored anyway. So I'm not too worried about them. I think they're almost trying to like make a breakthrough. Get to the city. We will ride them down. You will In you go, though, chariots. <laughs> yeah, it's them gone. Oh, just barely taking any damage. They're so strong. Okay, pull the archers With back me. and then march on the settlement. AI yeah, stayed put inside. I mean, they could have tried to press the line, but probably feel it's better to minimize the uh, number of troops they can face in the choke points. I think considering, you know, where they came in and we were able to jump on them straight away, it's probably the right decision for the AI to stay stay put inside the settlement. I don't think there's really a, a win for them here. Very fortunate that we were able to intercept them there. I think that the only thing those reinforcements could have done would be as they came in, corner camp it here. Draw in more of my troops and then push in with these guys and, and Sally out there. Or somehow try and lure me in to face their, their force here. So they've got all the entry points blocked. That one's starting to move though now. They're using the stances as well actually. Having a bit of a readjustment right now. Right, so yeah. Renowned Swords took a bit of damage. Off their hit points though than actually using losing uh, unit models though. Oh, they've lost their armor though. Armor oh, integrity down to zero, so it won't provide that bonus. It will go straight through to doing like full damage, I assume. At least I think that's how it works. Right, get you guys in there. Chariots. We're going to want you guys moving around over here. You still eager, fresh. Act that one's active. That's fine, though. All right, I need to get the spears reformed. So they go up to about there. Fast forward it. I really like that you got the number of warriors actually top right just at a glance and also your unit count. It's a nice improvement. Nice little quality of life. Sorry, who just threw a shot off from there? What was that? <laughs> really, we should be trying to come in from all, all sides. If we can. I mean, it's spears. So, and they've got axe over there. They got any mi missile troops? Mm, not really. They've got the slingers there. So, let's move up. Harass the slingers. Support them with the swords. So, in the meantime, I'm going to march them around here. It's all spears. That's the only problem here. 
Uh, veteran spears. Our spineless allies are retreating. I mean, they're not exactly spineless. They they got completely butchered and jumped on the moment they came into the map. So, I mean, it's more like you guys that just sat in the safety of your settlement. I should say relative safety of your settlement. Because it ain't safe anymore. Bring down the slingers. They will please never back down. Get at them. Draw them out. Guys aren't moving. That's what we wanted to do. That's nice. Warriors of Canaan. They did not hang about there. Get marching. This way, okay, the way's open. They're all just coming in this way now. Get marching. We stand strong. Bows, fire. Now you guys don't have advanced, do you? Swords. Always strong. Just these guys. No, it's actually just my general has the heroic advance. Take the rapid fire. Send them to Mott. Into position. I fight for Egypt. After me, brothers. Get the wheels moving. Get the wheels moving. Come through here. You know what I'm going to do, actually? I'm going to take out this unit here with my chariots. They got like a, a unit stuck over here still. They do. Oh, uh, you guys have been stuck over there. Chariots, with me. This ends in your doom. Yeah, he's really struggling with your pathfinding right now. What I was hoping to do is hit them from one side with one chariot unit and hit them with the other with the other one. Okay, just go hit that one. Ooh, you guys are really struggling. We stand strong to slaughter. Glory is mine. Push through. Heroes of Egypt. You're shattering them here. Never back down. In you go. Nice chariots. We stand strong. And now over to these guys. I will not die for this. Always strong. Always strong. We will write them down. Pull back. Charge again. Chariot riders. They'll never make it. Just by that one unit being caught. They're actually doing a pretty decent job of still moving around. We are unstoppable. Archers get stuck in we as well. Take you. I feel like they could do with actually upping the frequency of... Um, on the match combat but I feel like it doesn't really fire that often because you like you zoom in to kind of watch some of the uh, the combat and they're all still kind of just like Swinging around fairly aimlessly. 
I mean, I think it's still it's still better than what we have in in Warhammer, where there's just Never only uh, single entity units that actually have uh, match combat. Going. You get it kind of occasionally, but. I don't know. I kind of, I kind of feel like it's actually, le it happens less frequency in this build compared to some of the other builds that I've played on over the past this few months of Fairy. How did you guys that found that played the early access weekend find the kind of match combat? Did it bother you that much, or, or not really? Chariot's getting a load of kills there. 349, 364. Beautiful. Arch is doing really well as well. Well over, well, nearly 150 on each one. Lovely bit of food and bronze legitimacy. Mine now. New gods discovered. Power. Toth. Your Toth who inscribed the universe. Lovely. It's taking that, so that's going to help us out, surely. 42 now, yeah. It's going to be taking those sacred lands. It's going to boost us up. There are no faction in this cap. So you have to be required legitimate. You need 75 plus. Cumulating at least three quarters of the fairies. Total legitimacy is required to contest the crown. So, late game. Because otherwise you could probably, probably be thinking, like, well, surely it's just going to be an endless game of civil wars. How do you eventually, you know, stop them firing every few turns? Well, you gain so much legitimacy <laughs> that's when you start turning into like building monuments things like that and when you've got like 400 legitimacy it's going to be really tough for anyone else if you crush them all or subjugate them all under you so set is very close but it's still 11 turns so we just need to build it up as much as possible as much conquering as we can what do you gain it through it's battles but then you lose it by one a turn court plots Buildings and monuments, yeah, gonna be the main one. Landmarks and raw decrees, certain raw decrees, okay. But yeah, you can always, you can, if you do a fair bit of conquering, you'll always have like a solid base amount of legitimacy because it's only, although, hang on, is that minus one per turn? Would that actually, yeah, if you don't have battles, would that just eventually drop down? Battle, oh no, sorry, battles one is the decay as well. You gain it from battles, but you also lose it from battles does it ever just zero out i'm oh, sorry i was just thinking i was just thinking that that sacred lands would give us a permanent like 15 legitimacy but would we actually lose that 15 over time by not fighting battles surely it's only down to a certain point i guess my name will be legend all right so we got here fort that is yeah upkeep so one or two of you were saying why not put like a load of Tims if we were to get rid of some of these guys, which I don't think we need to now. I think we're we're pretty so sorted out on that with some bastards and what have you. Uh, why not just drop a load of your really expensive troops in there because it will get a free upkeep. It's only 50% uh, reduction in upkeep. So it's not... um, It's not a full 100%. But obviously it all helps a bit. But right now I think we're, we're going to be fine. It's garrison. Yeah, I think actually I'm going to get rid of the... F I'm going to get rid of the fort, actually. Build something else there instead. Keep the, the lookout tower, though. I fight for Egypt. Give us three and support us. For Pharaoh's glory. Um, oh, no. It's, oh, yes. That's garrison two settlement. Yeah, passive bonus. That one is army units of the fort will reinforce to re during siege. What about that one then? Oh no, that's just three in there if it gets attacked, right? So in which case, yeah, actually, I want to cancel demolition of that one. I want to get rid of this one. Warrior of Egypt. Right. You get your Greek trident. Um, let's pop a point into upkeep reduction. Here we go. Make you even cheaper. That's good. What have we got in here? We've got stone. Perfect. Grabbing that straight away. Happiness. That house. I mean, that's nice. Um, 
I'm not sure that's what I really want right now. But we're also thankfully not going to face too much influence problems here. Because it's uh, Egyptian heartland. What's that? That is construction stone. So covers district. Oh, we could get an obelisk. We can build that in all the kind of sacred Egyptian lands, maybe. Some of them. Not these ones. What's the obviously no, the greatness? That's only one though. The obelisk didn't say only one though, right? Yep, that's fine. So definitely something to yeah look to pop in to keep our legitimacy up. Um, stone mine. Do, 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 do. Uh, stone covers district rather. Yeah, pop that in and you stand water well. Do, 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 do. Influence and happiness. I mean we've got a fair bit of it, so I'm not too worried about going for that. I might leave that in there for now actually. where I can get a further upkeep reduction. So I might just... Mm, no, we're at three anyway. I could just... I was thinking I'd just top it up, but we're all good. I serve Egypt. Okay, what other penning actions have we got? Um, we still don't have enough wood here to build that, but we're getting close. I and mean, we might be able to trade for some. We'll have a look at that in a minute. What can we do here? 100 gold. Browse native warriors. Or... Cost the next action minus 50%. That's quite nice. We get some archers. Yeah, let's do that. Pop that in. Okay, so we'll now get at least... Oh, with that, all, this also gives additional units through here as well. I think. Higher... Oh, um, yeah, higher native cap. So we've got those guys. Oh, yeah, spear and the two archers. But... Units provided as reinforcements. We've got some extra, like, militia coming in. We'll get some chariots eventually. Wow. It's only showing those three, though. I don't know if it'll update or not, or if it doesn't, doesn't kind of show those. We shall see. Right, what else we got? No, that's fine. They're invading. Hungry and prefer to raid. Okay, yeah. And what we're getting, we're getting, we're getting wood from, yeah, completing that as well, which will help us build those. Food bits and pieces. Stop our ledger. Yeah, chuck it in. That will help us build the various bits. But we could upgrade our port, but that is 190 food, up to 250, so an extra 60, or. We could go for that, which is an extra 560. Uh, so that's what we're going to try and do. So we're going to get some wood. We need 690. We don't have enough stone, though. So we're going to need to wait a turn. Any okay, we'll wait till next turn. I was <laughs> just thinking, like, yeah, just wait. We shall just wait, then. Seti, you've got so many forces there. Not like you were busy conquering your way all the way. All the way down the Nile. You're going to get ready to contend with uh, I'm a mess. I don't see you guys all put on that. Although that is actually useful that they're sending their army down there because they're not sending it to the settlement we're going to uh, conquer with our ancient legacy. So that's good. The Boo invaders haven't come across them just yet. Shemzu Hall, was I successful? 
in my plots. Shamsu I was. Oh, the weak from the beautiful. <laughs> oh, that's 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 gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Nice. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Barry tried to discredit Seti. Not something like that, is he? So you lost legitimacy, actually, because of that. The plot against you. What's the discredit do? If you failure one for each faction, this plot is revealed to you. Okay. I lost a little bit there. Seti, potential Speak pretender now. Speak friend, if you have something to say. Oh, we're at one turn left seeing his lands actually, yeah, so the end turns will go a bit faster then. <laughs> Let's see all of his land, that's why we're seeing it all. But yeah, he is he has gone on a conquering spree. How much does he's got eight? How much does MS have? Seven. Firstborn son. He's right down in the south. Proud son of Egypt. Right. Replace general with Ramesses. I'll battle my way to greatness. Yeah, so we'll strike there. We'll probably try and fight it, actually. It'd be nice to have Ramesses back. Getting stuck in. So, yeah, events. Okay, they're down here. What are you? Well, you're from them. Right, yeah, you're the, these guys up there. Got machinations. Successful. I thought we were only getting 700 gold. How would we get that much more? Was it because I demolished some stuff? Still no treasurer. To survey the mighty administration of Egypt. Took to assign this character. I don't want to move from that one. I mean, Bezel's nice, but wait till somebody goes in there. What I'm going to do is gossip. And then Allies you ask for... Have their uses. Um... I'm not going to ask for connections right now because I would rather do it when I can do the embezzle plot. Um, but we lose these, don't we, each turn. So I might as well gossip against you because I'm just going to target Egypt you again. Stronger when her children are united. So leave it good. Good, good standing, good regard with all of those guys. For glory. Right, Perman, you are going to have force coming in from the outpost, so I need to cut that off first. So I need to hit the outpost there. I shall not stray. Eager to fight. I'm not quite at full strength, but that's fine. You can go and hit it. You Should be die. all right. Strike through. Ah ha ha! So they could come and attack me, couldn't they, with their 17? I'd be surprised if they don't. Continue Stop the siege then. Cowards. If not, they may move towards this, in which case we can yeah, cut them off when they go there. Glorious. Destiny calls me, and I am compelled to answer. Impossible! Take out of an ambush stance. Be prepared. They're gonna run, but now I should be able to chase you down, because the last thing I want you doing is falling back to your settlement there. Pressing Beautiful. On. Here we go. Oh wow. Um, it is a slam dunk. Is. We'll fight the battle at their settlement. Oh, nice! This is my destiny. How many did we lose? 158. Nice bit of bronze, nice bit of gold, bit of Egyptian, Egyptian legitimacy. Spread word of my might, chosen of Ra. And then, yeah, we will force march, march here. Ahead. And if we need to fight that one, we will. I could go up and hit the garrison, but it's out of the way. So we'll just go in and hit the hit the 14 there, claim it, knock them out. Ambition. Happy days. What was my boss with Seti? Gold for food. Royal yeah, no, I'm, I'm not worried about that. That's fine. Um, we can now get that in there. We've got the stone. We just need a bit more wood. So 690. 
Who doesn't like wood? Yeah, nobody <laughs> nobody hates wood. Okay, so let's just find someone that really likes gold because we've got plenty of it. Um, let's go to Bay. He's I normally speak. got some resources. I have heard much of your exploit, Ramses. Most impressive. I mean, I'll, I'll pay top price. Um, you guys said it's good to weigh up some additional resources at times putting in because sometimes that tips them over a bit, but there's nothing else he prefers right now. Um, so it's going to have to be the gold. Hundred and three, got plenty of it. Boom. I am at your. I might see if there's somebody else that can give us more wood as well. In the name of duty, I have a feeling we will both write our names into history. Seemingly, you've got a lot. What else do you? Just gold, just gold. I mean, I've got a fair bit of food. What if I gave you? I, I could definitely afford to throw more food at you. Let's do that. A fine plan. And who doesn't like stone? bay has got plenty of stone. So give Bay some more. All are Ramses, your potential has long been the talk of Egypt. Yeah. Oh. Wow. You really don't care for stone, do you? <laughs> I do. Let me just have a, a thousand of it. Because I have so much gold right now. Is 150 dead. Bang on. Boom. A victory for the diplomacy. Very much so. Right, now I want to do that because then I should be able to build that there. And finally, up over here as well. Oh, we're just showing the we're just showing the wood. Ah we need uh, another 105. Okay, let's get it. We've got the gold. I stand strong. I will defend my Son of the sap. I fight for my brothers. Doesn't have a preference to wood. Strong. I take. There's no one that I doesn't for, want wood. I, for with his, I fight. I will defend my home. So who who was it before? Was it you guys? Rouse. I think I it's probably bu buying home. buying that wood now makes for them Pharaoh's like it. Oh, here we go. Hi, Ramses. Who I'm going to go for next. Come. Yeah, give me some wood. see what negotiation brings. No, conky. Who, who doesn't love gold? Can you just give me a load of wood, though? Because I'll never quite get this much from just trading, like just conquering you, will I? Um, gold I can get again. I know it's a lot that I'm dropping right now, but... Oh, you like bronze. Yeah, I can do bronze. You want some bronze? Have some bronze. Nothing else you care about, is there? Boom. Fine. Lovely. If I don't do this now, I'm just going to forget about doing it, probably. So happiness and influence does take a little bit of a hit. So we will need to consider that. What we should look to do... Is we got the Magi office there. Um, no, we got all this. We got all the stuff that I want in there. It's that when that one unlocks, I want to go for yeah this one that does adjacent provinces. Commoners grave up to Necropolis of the Honored Dead because that will spread it around province and adjacent province. Actually, isn't that one that we can 
improve for more influence and happiness. Happiness is actually up, so yeah, building that is not going to be a problem. But yeah, more influence from that. Chock it in. Lovely, right. So in four turns, our food should be well and truly sorted if it doesn't just get sorted with us doing some additional conquering. So that's nice. Court actions. Shem Suho must oh, commence. yeah, set me wages. That's fine. Um, activate. No, we've still got that. Just be more of them appearing Blessed in my pool, right? I've still got the royal arches. Ramesses, the bold. Uh, we could actually. Oh no, we're in force march already. I was thinking we could attack, couldn't we, with our special ability? But no, we're already there. We'll get that next turn. Summon upgrade available. Oh yeah, um, yeah, go for it. And post construction. Yeah, we're gonna go for the trading post. But it's gonna have to wait till next turn. Can go in here though and choose the next one, which is gift a local warlord for more troops or speed reinforcing army and fatigue build up. Um, local healer. No, give me, give me more. Give me more. Solid number of reinforcements. If they don't have an army in there, it's going to be slam donkus. Ah, seti, seti, seti. The thing is, I can't really make that promise because you're my main. You're going to be my main rival in this next civil war, so I'm going to need to go to war with you because you also hold some pretty significant settlements um, up here in the Nile Delta area region. So no, sorry. Also, you're demanding 200 gold. I mean, I know I've got 200 gold, but no. Your city is under threat. Its garrison stands ready. But having additional troops can always tip the scales in your favor. Okay, th thanks for that. A new vice for it and a new... Oh, house rep. Lovely. Siege underway. All right, it's just my this siege. <laughs> will witness my ascendance. Good, good. Right. Glad we got a new treasure. Here wow, her are. legitimacy. The center of that makes her a solid pretender as well. You have a proposition? Then she's, please uh, share it with me. She's Seti's wife. That would be cool if they had some way of interacting a bit more. I think that's... Oh, I mean, I, I, I guess I get why they've chosen characters again for this. Kind of same, in the same similar vein as Troy. But I really wish we could move away from unkillable characters. I know that they're probably a better selling point. Potentially. Or a way to, for, I guess, maybe even for newer players to kind of identify the faction you're playing as. But it'd be nice to be getting back to playing as factions rather than as specific characters. Because if you play specific characters, often then you it makes them unkillable. Um, because, you know, if, if the if the named character of the faction dies, you know, how does that, how does that work, basically? Um, but I'd, I'd love to get away from these specific characters being the, the, the kind of naming of and focal point of the playable factions in, in, the, in the games, because then we'd be able to have things like family trees a bit more. I think that'd be, that'd be nice to kind of, again, broaden the depth of Total War games going forward. Uh, once more by having family trees, making it more about the, I guess, the dynasty that you're playing as. And, and again, make make it that you play as the, the kingdom or the, the nation that you're building up rather than a specific character. Um, right. I want to go here, make a request connections, and I want to go to Tasserat, and I want to gossip. Gossip. I see Gossip. you choose your allies wisely. And then I want to embezzle. And I'm going to go over here. I'm going to plot against. And I'm going to embezzle. 2% chance. Oh, wow. 0% chance. Can I embezzle against the fit? Nope. Why have I got such a low chance? 11% on the Viceroy of Kush. It's the weakest one. Is it the Mount of Renown? I'm going to have to try and increase that so much. Unless I then went to the Pharaoh and got strong arm. That's oh, no, it's only one of my threatened, isn't it? I always forget. I always think it's, oh yeah, it's um, improve all your plot 
for two active levels. I'm going to have to go for you, aren't I? I'm going to have to embezzle you. That means I've then got to spend my gossips on, on that one. So what could I do here? Mm. Yeah, not really anything I want to do that way. Yeah, I shouldn't have gone for that, but I didn't know what the what it was going to do. Okay, so we're going to try and embezzle. Still three legitimacy. So let's just try and boost that up. Okay, that's fine. Thanks, Tauser. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. How many more turns have we got left on this? Nine. There's already some big names up there. So I'm, yeah, third on the list of others. Making my way up. Got a lot of conquering to do, though. Right. They will bleed. That's, that's one of my chariots taking a bit of a hit. That's fine. We'll have a bigger battle against Per Ammon itself. I mean, I mean, slapping up about with the spear is okay, but you, you know you can um, stick him with the pointy end, right? Leave them to bask in shame. Do not have a with that. I reap divine um, I am going to raise it so they lose that building. But that also kills off. Oh, it doesn't kill off my movement range. Oh, nice. Um, is that a upkeep reduction? <laughs> it is. Right, go over here. Yeah. And then go here. And I'm going to ambush and hope they think I've disappeared now. And they'll go for this one. Then I can swoop in behind them. Sneaky. That's movement. Yeah, start going through movement. Yeah, build it. Might not work out well for us, but we'll see. Scalon. Right, yeah, you can upgrade your food, your fields here, and your and your uh, port. Ramesses. Yeah, they pop the chap in there. Canaan will yield. Strike. So they've got the outpost garrison coming on in. Close victory, low casualties. Yeah, that's fine. I don't think we need to fight it, so we'll probably open order resolving this at the start of the next episode, clearing our ambition, and uh, obviously uniting all of Sinai. And then we can send Ramsey north and start conquering all the lands uh, across the uh, north of the uh, of the Nile there, and then basically just prepare ourselves ready for the civil war that will kick off in nine turns because we want to make sure we proclaim ourselves as a pretender there and then smash into SETI, weaken SETI, gain a load of territory, gain a load of legitimacy, and hopefully then become Pharaoh. So until the next one, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Take care, and ciao for now.